play tennis. Susie has two tennis rackets. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Let's play tennis. Yes, that sounds fun. To you, Susie. Oh. Susie has missed the ball. <laughs> oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> Peppa and Susie like playing tennis. But George feels a bit left out. Oh, sorry, George. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. <laughs> I know. George can be the ball boy. Yes, it's a very important job. George is going to be the ball boy. He has to collect the ball when it is hit too far. To you, Susie. Oh. Ball boy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy! <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Ball boy! Oh dear. George doesn't like this game. Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. <laughs> Let's play football. Yes, football. <laughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, me! Mm, let's play bat and ball. Peppa can throw the ball and George has to bat it. <laughs> but if anyone catches the ball, George is out. OK. <laughs> George is out. <laughs> George is a bit too little even for bat and ball. You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! <laughs> Oops. I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh. Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, everyone. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. Oh dear. 
The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <coughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cap for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Wow, thanks, Dad. It's Gold! Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh! One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. wow! Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep! Nay! Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh! And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. I've got no petrol. Let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. That's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. <sighs> Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. 
Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Hello, where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. A pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, Doctors. Everything is back to normal. But Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm. Its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. Can you, Doctors, help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. A vet is a doctor for animals. Hello, Dr. Hamster speaking. Upside down tartice, you say? I'll be right there. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Now, where's the patient? Here. He fell out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. Uh this is great. The children are having so much fun. Yes. I just hope we can get them out at the end. <laughs> The little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! yes. 
Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry! I'm coming in! I'm nearly there! Uh, oh no! I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No! Don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck. stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Ooh. One day... Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, <laughs> Nina! First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. Wonderful. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Oh. Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolls through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness! Call an ambulance! The ambulance is here! Oh, yes! Everyone into the ambulance! <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check, he's away! There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump daddy pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Uh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. Uh. Got you. Oh, 
She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job. It'll last for years. I can't hold on. Ah, Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Ho, ho, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? Okay. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, fun. of fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. Guess what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... What's wrong? You talk too much. You go, blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm! Mmm! You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. <laughs> Hello, Peppa and George. This is Chloe, Peppa and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Goo, goo, goo. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George, the baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Pepper, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. <laughs> And it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. All this noise. Whoa! Help! Oh! Oh! What on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear, poor Daddy Pig. Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? 
So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning! No, you're not! <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh! This is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> Ready, steady, go. Hooray! <laughs> school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee, and I got a plaster too. Wow! Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow! And they come whenever I press this button. <laughs> Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? 
What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro! Bye, everyone! George is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the ball's shadow. Silly George, that's not the ball, that's just its shadow. Look! When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Peppa is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing Candy Cat. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah! That was the funny bit. 
<laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> It is the end of Peppa's Holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! The boomerang has flown all the way back to Pepper. What was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Peppa, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, oh, oh. ho! I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? <laughs> Granddad dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus today? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> All aboard! Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. Granddad Dog's Breakdown Service. Meh. Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. <laughs> we would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Feeling better? Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Spotty ball. Good. Now, before you start playing, you need some sun cream on. The sun is very hot, so Pepper and George have to have sun cream on. Let's try out this spotty ball. 
It seems to work. <laughs> what a great spotty ball. <laughs> George, you throw the ball and I will catch it. <laughs> George, catch! Oh dear, George is too little to catch the ball. <laughs> Never mind, George. Would you and Pepper like to have a paddle in the sea? Yes, please, Daddy. <laughs> Let's put your water wings on. There we go. You look very smart in your water wings, George. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Good. <laughs> now we can play in the water. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Steady <laughs> <Get it> on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. No. Ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah! <laughs> hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. It's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. 
I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, <laughs> certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. George? George, are you awake? <laughs> 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 what strange noises. I wonder if we should check upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I never. Fast asleep. So, it wasn't Pepper and George making all that noise. I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. Gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh, I love gardening programs. The Kiftsgate is a particularly thorny rose. To prune it, start by lopping off the head and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig. Pepper, George, you should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. <coughs> Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Mm. This program is very boring. Mm. Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where you throw us up and catch us? <laughs> George is playing with his ball in the garden. <laughs> Pepper wants to play too. George, you're doing it all wrong. This is how to catch a ball. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> That's what you do. What a cheeky little one Pepper is. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Pepper is teasing George just a bit too much. Pepper, have you been teasing George? Not really, Mummy. I was teaching him how to catch. Really? Oh, well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Pepper, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. 
You have to throw the ball to each other and I have to try and catch it. I'm the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. <laughs> Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Pepper, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Pepper and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper. But Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television. But Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Pepper looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers, but the glasses are not there either. <coughs> Pepper and George love playing in the garden. George, I'm going to throw the ball and then you have to catch it. <laughs> George, please stop hiccuping. <laughs> George! Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. <laughs> George! Oh dear. George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. <laughs> Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you've done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> <coughs> Close your eyes and turn around quickly three times. Pepper's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shot. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring.
It's quite windy. Let's play a game to keep warm. <laughs> My turn. Oh, it's not meant to go that way. The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> the ball is in the pond. Hmm. I'll just use this stick to reach it. Just a bit further, Daddy. Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I've almost got it. Whoa. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No, the wind has blown George's hat off. <coughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! <coughs> Look, it's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> Grandpa, catch! Ho, 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 ho. Catch! <laughs> What's this? Dinosaur. Grrr. A dinosaur? Ho, 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 ho. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting these seeds. Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, Make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Peppa and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. 